Hey guys, so I just uh, want to release some fun testimonies for you guys to step out in faith and really just be God's hands and feet all day, every day. Seriously, it, he's just fun. So last night we had uh, Revival Cultures, The Revolution, and it was awesome. Literally from start to finish, it was just Jesus and it was like a revival service, like where we're just open to what the Holy Spirit's doing and we're laying our life down and we're just waiting at his feet and we're we're hungering and thirsting after more of him and then he fills us and then he fills us again and again and again and then we go out and then we just spread the gospel and then we come back in, into his home and then we're, we're sitting at his feet getting filled up and filled up again. Um, just so fun. But yesterday, one favorite testimony was the woman who had two broken arms and... Well, she had two casts. I don't know if she had broken arms. They looked like they were broken because she was like this. Um, and she had gnarly bruises on her um, on her arms where they were visible. But God took her pain on the third prayer, like just completely took all of her pain. Like I'm waiting for that day when that casket just ripped off, right? Like, ah, oh, I know he can do it. But God took her pain and she was like, no, the pain's gone. And so we just declared the the heart of God for her that she wouldn't have pain from today forward until all of her bones and muscles healed up. Um, just so fun to watch God do that. Like, just, just she was in her car. <laughs> I don't care, you know, it's fun. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, that was yesterday. There's a lot of other fun testimonies that I could share, but that was one of my favorites. Um, and then Friday night, so day before yesterday, I was at Mountain View Assembly of God, and I just started um, ministering to each heart there in the prophetic and in the right now encounters, and so it was just wonderful watching God just go, okay, one by one by one by one in, in that building, which is so fun. Like, we're just carrying the heart of God. Oh, and um, in September, I'll shoot you the dates, but we're gonna have a women's conference. It's a generations conference, so young and old women. And I can't wait. Literally, I'm like, let's go. So I'll be preaching. It'll be a Friday and Saturday night. And I'm already like ah, excited for it. Um, and then Wednesday night, I was at River of Hope. And God, it, God's presence is just so real and so tangible and so thick. Like, it was just so simple and so easy to minister there that, I mean, God just, it was like a river. And there was one woman who was older, she, she began to prophesy, there's a river flowing through this building right now. And that's exactly what happened. It, it was just wonderful. Like, I'm still in awe of what God was doing that night. And my favorite testimony from that night was really when one woman, um, she had, uh, she had broken her pinky a while back and you could see the scar tissue in it. Um, but that night I was like, I feel like God's healing finger or it was like fingers, like index or toe or something, hands. And she was just grabbed a hold of it. She was like, yep, I need healing for this. She's in constant pain, she said. And then God took her pain, <laughs> like <laughs> the pinky. <laughs> and I just love that because what happened was right after she got, um, healed, she began to praise God and I got to watch her like her faith went to a different level. She was like, yeah, hallelujah, you know, like just so fun to watch God do that. And, and then it, it reminds you of God's faithfulness and what he can do and how he's just, he's ready to move. He's so ready to move. And so just join with his heart just be united with him spend time with him in the secret place and and then release him out in the open that is the heart of god is for him to use you he wants to use you and so get to a place of intimacy where you really know who you are in god where you know who you are in the identity that god has called you to be as sons and daughters of the living god he's like i have written my name upon you oh jeremiah it's fifteen sixteen, I believe. It says, for I bear your name. For I bear your name. I mean, think of the God of all heaven and creation. Like, the heavens are his throne and the earth is his footstool. But yet he would zone in. He would just focus in on us. And then when we say yes to him, he would write his name on our hearts and on our minds. Like, 
what even? Like, ah, uh, that blows me away that God would say, no, 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 you bear my name. You go forth and you minister and you love people and love them well. And so, yeah, I just want to encourage you guys today, step out in faith and just release God's love. He is amazing. All right, bless you guys. Bye.